Okay, we have Mary is making pillows for her life skills class. She bought two and a half yards of fabric. Her total cost was $15. What was the cost per yard? So whenever we have money and we're doing a ratio, the money is gonna be on top. And in this case, the yards is gonna be in the denominator. So we have 15 divided by two and a half. And before we can do anything with this, we have to change this into an improper fraction. So 15 is going to over 2 times 2 plus 1 would be 5 over 2. We're going to rewrite this as a keep, change, flip. Where we're taking the denominator and flipping it, keeping this, and changing from division to multiplication. So hopefully you guys solved this yesterday. This would be 15 now over 1. 15 times 2 would be 15. I'm sorry, 15 times 2 would be 30. 1 times 5 would be 5. 30 divided by 5 equals 6. That means it's $6 per yard. A couple of other word problems before I have you do some practice today. Doug entered a canoe race. He rode three and a half miles in one half hour. Remember, we're doing distance problems. It's distance over time. So in this case, we're gonna have miles over hours. Because that's the distance, that's the time. So we have three and a half miles over half an hour. This has to become an improper fraction. So six plus one is seven. 7 halves over 1 half. We're going to do this as a keep change flip. So 7 halves would be kept. Change from division to multiplication. 1 over 2 becomes 2 over 1. I would do 14 over 2. 14 divided by 2 is 7. So it's 7. You want to take it from the question miles per hour. Last word problem from yesterday's review. Monica reads seven and a half pages of a mystery book in nine minutes. I see minutes here, so I'm thinking time. And really, the distance is the pages in her book, how far in her book she got. So this is going to be our distance. And in this case, the distance is pages. And the time is minutes. So we have seven and a half pages over nine minutes. We have to convert this. So two times seven would be 14 plus one is 15. We get 15 over two divided by nine. We're gonna do keep change flip, 15 over two times instead of nine it's going to be nine over one remember so our flip would be one over nine i'm going to do 15 times one is 15. two times nine is 18. these can be reduced by three so 15 divided by three would be five eight divided by three would be six so she can read five, six pages per minute. With that, I'm going to give you a practice activity sheet to do today. If you have not finished the work from yesterday in your book, then you're going to want to finish that today. And then you're going to practice these problems and turn this in.